top, please. Thanks. Um, yeah, my name's Amanda Benson. I'm a teacher and I'm working with I work all over the borough actually for the Support for Learning Service and I'm a member of the National Union of Teachers. And the first thing I wanted to say today was thank you to all the firefighters who are here because um, you have done a fantastic job in the schools in this borough. And um, I actually used to work in, in one school where the fire was the fire brigade called out and they, they put out a very significant fire there. So um, my appreciation to you. Um, I just wanted to say that I was horrified uh, when I heard of any cuts to um, the fire service and certainly uh, in this borough because, um, well, I remember actually the, the Conservatives, the Condon government coming in and saying that there would be cuts but not to any frontline services and I'm not sure how much more frontline you know, this can get. Um, the, 12, the closure of 12 fire stations, more than 500 firefighters jobs, um, cuts to their pay, cuts to their pensions and mine too, um, these are cuts that are being made for the bankers' mistakes. And I don't see why the fire service shouldn't be immune. The bankers, you know, they certainly have been. Um, and punishing the firefighters for their success, that doesn't seem to work in the banking community. Um, we were talking about tax incentives earlier on. Um, well, I think an incentive to firefighters might be um, to, to keep their jobs and not to uh, threaten the, their services. Um, my union invited a, an FBU speaker to our association meeting a couple of months ago when we, we heard about these cuts. Um, and he showed us a very powerful video. I don't know if anybody else in this room has seen it. It lasts exactly three minutes and it shows a fire and how much damage it can do from the start to three minutes in. And that was horrific because it, it destroyed a room, created a fireball and would have, would have killed. Um, so it was incredibly powerful. And when we're talking about six minutes, it doesn't sound like very long, but that's, that is lives. We know that. And seconds are lives. You know, I too find it difficult to believe that 23 and 47 seconds are the amounts of time that are going to be affected here, impacted. Because there are lots of extra building uh, works going on in Tower Hamlets at the moment. We've got Crossrail going on. We've got new schools being built, new schools being created. These awful free schools are popping up all over the place. Um, we've got new hill homes being built, um, we've got a population that is increasing, we've got unemployment that is increasing, we've got new figures that are going up, surely that is going to impact on the arson rates. Um, and I do have questions about this, I have questions about how are we going to protect those schools. There are 100 um, state funded schools, there are 100 um, schools that are borough schools, but there are more being built. Um, there is a huge demand for primary places. Why? Because the population is increasing in this borough. So much so that schools are expanding as well as new ones being built. Bonner Primary School um, is, uh, it is not too far away from, from Bow. Uh, it's, been, it's actually <coughs> expanding into the building that I work in and, my, and I'm having to be moved, I don't mind. But the whole of the PDC, which is in English Street, will go. Um, and, um, <coughs> number of adults who work there is probably about 100. Hundreds of, of children will take uh, over that space. So that's more lives that need to be protected, not less. In my view, we don't need fewer firefighters or engines. We need more. I'm not a math teacher, but I can't work out how making cuts can actually improve the services. That's <laughs> The gentleman in the front here, please. I'm Cyril Farley from Wellington Estate in Bethlehem Green. I live on Bishop's Way. I've had experience, on my, I'm very grateful for the role that Fire Brigade has been to us. Uh, I was a member of the committee there, but for some reason, anti-social behaviour, I would say, certain people, we've lost our premises to be privatised. But anyway, that's what the council does to us. They've also recently put a tenant above me who is anti-social. He was anti-social when he came. I cracked my ceiling and flooded me out. But recently, the fire brigade has been called oh, across the road, a part of the Wellington Estate of Russia Lane, so because of anti-social behaviour of person there, which is how to get residents, has uh, flooded the place out and he's been removed but he's gone back in there, splashed all the pipes, including the gas pipes, and 
sludging the people on the block underneath. So the fire brigade was called to correct that. Now, I'm very grateful for that, what they've prepared to do. Well, can they carry on doing it with all these cuts? And would that not get blown up or burned down if the gas pipes had to be turned off and things like that? It's highly dangerous what this... We're a highly densely populated area in town, and this. And as we lose all these staff that we have been at administrators, we're going to be in a real mess. I'm very grateful that Fire Brigade called in this meeting because I, 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 I realise how dangerous the situation is going to be. I'm not, we're not really safe as it is with the antisocial behaviour. Why the council officers are prepared to put antisocial anti people into the blocks to behave like they do and put lives at risk of people's lives at risk, I don't know. But really, it ought to be stopped. And the privatisation. We've got to bear in mind, brothers and sisters, and residents and tenants, that the real problem is the bankers, like was mentioned. They're the people that. Why should the fire brigade? Why should the police service? Why should the public services have, be allowed to, to have to suffer from all this? But we've been getting a fairly reasonable service from all these people. And Parliament and people like that are doing this to us. They're multi billionaires, the Lib Dems. Multi billionaires, living their mansions. And, uh, six and eight bedroom mansions and things like that. It's about time that the people spoke up about it. <laughs> And then I'll come to you. Um, so the first question from uh, Amanda was about cuts in frontline uh, services. Um, and when you know you come in on a manifest of no cuts in frontline services, I don't know if you guess that could be that much. Yeah. Um, I mean, the uh, the simple fact of the matter is that in the 2008 uh, election. Uh, Boris Johnson made a commitment that he wasn't going to, you know, um, uh, he wasn't going to make any cuts to frontline fire services. Um, he wasn't able to make that commitment in 2012 because we knew our funding supplement was going to be was going to be tight. Um, so uh, certainly, certainly in London, um, I don't feel we've reneged on any uh, manifesto uh, commitment. Again, it's um, you know we, we we could have a big you know debate about the. Uh, about the proportion of the deficit that was generated by the banking bailout, how much was generated by you know previous government spending plans. I mean, that, 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 there, there is there is a whole other public meeting we could we could have around that. I've got to deal with the funding supplement that I've been given. As I say, I put in uh, you know I uh, the commissioner, other members of the the fire authority put in a uh, a very professional, very well structured uh, financial pitch to government, and as I say. We got a better funding settlement than we'd originally been uh, given in, you know, uh, led to believe. Um, that's a moderately bit of, you know, it's a moderately good news. But the simple fact of the matter is, we have got to, we've got to save, uh, um, uh, we've got to save the money. Um, and um, and my, as I say, my personal priority, and very much reflected by senior officers, is the is to is to prioritise as far as possible, the bit of the organisation that delivers the service to people, and that is our people, and that's the firefighters, and that's why we really, really moved uh, heaven and earth to make sure that we don't have to uh, have any compulsory uh, uh, redundancies uh, of, uh, of firefighters. So um, yeah, yes we are, yes. Through voluntary redundancy or early retirement, but the point. Okay, well, in my, I've been made redundant. I know what it's like. How much you on there? <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that. Since Smith is unemployed, he knows how we all feel. Is that the same line? If we could just let the chairman finish, please. Thank you. The point I'm making is that I would never, I would never want to put someone through that if I could possibly help it. And that's why we've gone out of our way to make sure that, you know, that these proposals don't envisage any compulsory redundancy. So, so the message I put across, if you're a firefighter and you want to stay in the organisation, we want to keep you and we will be able to keep you. 
um, and uh, and that's that's one of the things that we prioritise. Thank you, Chairman Fiona. <coughs> Um, I just wanted to correct an impression that might have been given that these are the first round of cuts and that have already been cut to the fire service budget. I, we should remember that 66 million has already been cut, so it's not as if the fire service hasn't already been taking its fair share or more than its fair share of the cuts. So I just wanted to. Say, well, I think that's a question for for the chair, really. I mean, I th and I think it's a valid question, and it's one that. We, we, need to, we need to know the answer to. I mean, if these cuts go through, um, would there be more? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you, Fiona. And then the second part of Amanda's question about it's, uh, it's a growing borough, uh, increasing schools. Are those schools going to be protected? And also, Commissioner, I wonder if you'd ask, ask, answer uh, Cyril's point about antisocial behaviour and some of the flooding incidents. Are we still going to be able to respond to flooding? Just, just to pick up the point in, on, in terms of schools, the question I will ask back to you is, in most schools that are being developed, are they being developed with sprinkler systems, which is the recommendation from the government under the building regulation, what we're finding is that most developers and most local authorities in developing schools are not installing sprinklers. Well, now, not in free schools either, or well, well, at all schools it should be. I'm not, I'm not going to differentiate between the type of school. We know that if there was a fire in the school, the London Fire Brigade would attend them. Sorry? Sorry, you did differentiate. I, well, it wasn't intentional. I'm just talking about any school. Um, but in terms of you know, fires in schools, we know that fire in school is very, very disruptive to education generally, whether it be the whole school that's damaged or just the classroom or just a part of the school. The way to protect schools is to actually put, make people developing schools comply with the building regulations, recommendations, so sprinklers fitted. That's the way to protect schools. That's the best way to do it. So what you could be doing, I hope you are, is actually making sure that through your good offices and those of your union, that you are pressing every, for every school that's developed in this borough to have a sprinkler system. That will protect schools much better than having a fire station on the corner of every road. Just to come to point, um, uh, we London Fire Brigade tries to play its part in relation to antisocial behaviour. We've got teams of all the officers that volunteer. Oh, and right, there you go. <laughs> Very well, thank you. Um, we have teams of officers that um, work with, with local authorities, with charities, with the police and others to try to reduce antisocial behaviour. But in terms of the points you were making about the way, the way people walk, the, the demonstrate antisocial behaviour placed into housing, London Fire Okay, I'd like to go to Russian Abbey. 